Logitech MX Master 2S has been my mouse of choice for years. Is the newer MX Master 3 better? What do we get for spending $40 more? Hi, this is David Tekvababa, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel. The MX Master 2S mouse has been the mouse I use on both PCs and Macs since it came out in 2017. In the last few months, I've been trying out the new MX Master 3. In today's video, let's go over their similarities and three major differences for me. See what we get for $40 more and why I think both are good choices for most people but not everyone at the end. First, the similarities. I have the 2S on the left and the 3 on the right. It's not hard to see the family resemblance. Both are in an ergonomic shape. Taller on the left, tapering lower towards the right. Very easy and comfortable for my right hand to rest on. There is a cavity on the left side with padding for the right thumb. In addition to the left and right mouse buttons, they both have two scrolling wheels one on the top and the other on the side. And four buttons which can all be customized in the Logi Options app. They both can be connected to the PC or Mac by wire or wirelessly with Bluetooth or the unifying USB receiver. Each can be paired to three different devices and switch between them. Both have been tracking well on any flash service I've tried on and both have internal rechargeable batteries that last over a couple of months. So what are the differences then? First, the price. The 2S has been selling for about $60 or even lower these days, while the MX Master 3 is $99. US Check the links in the description below for discounts from time to time. What are we getting for $40 more in the MX Master 3? There are some minor cosmetic differences. The front of the 2S is in a triangular shape instead of the flat slanted shape of the 3. The gray trims on the side and the base is a bit different. There are three little indicator lights towards the front of the 2S. The indicator light on the 3 is one long light towards the top on the side. The top and the bottom feet on the 3 are a bit bigger but the two side feet are thinner and smaller. They both glide easily, so these differences don't make a practical difference for me. Another difference is the MX Master 2S has a mini USB charging port, and the MX3 has a USB-C charging port. I prefer the USB-C ports these days, but since these mice only need charging once every couple of months, it's not a big deal to me. There are, however, three more significant differences for me. Number one, while their shape about the same, the three is a bit shorter, taller, and narrower. Not a huge difference it may seem on the specs, but I could feel the difference especially when I grabbed the mouse. There is also a small difference in weight, about 8 grams. All in all, a bit lighter weight, the narrower grip, and a bit taller bump make it easier for me to maneuver the mouse. Second major difference is the top scroll wheel. Both mice have scroll wheels that can scroll in steps or freely. In the step scrolling mode, the 2S has a clicking mechanical sound which is nice to use. The 3 though scrolls silently with a magnetic tactile feedback which is even more smooth. It's a pleasure to use. Third major difference is the side scroll wheel and buttons. They are all bigger on the 3. The front and back buttons are now placed under the wheel much easier for my thumb to get to. In summary, there are three main improvements for me. The 3 has a bit better ergonomics, a bit better top scroll wheel, and bigger, easier to reach size scroll wheel and buttons. Okay, maybe 3.5 since I prefer the USB-C port for charging. I think the MX Master 3 is a better improved mouse. However, all the improvements are just nice to have, not must-haves. If your budget is limited, the 2S is more than good enough. In fact, I still use both. Both are great tools for most people except for those who are left-handed or have smaller hands. For those who have smaller hands or want a more portable mouse for traveling, I consider this MX Anywhere mouse instead. 
Again, I'll have links to all of them in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. What's your go-to mouse or do you just use the trackpad? I'd love to know your experiences in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment.